screen, but we're live. Of course. And, uh, fucking. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> a few discussions later, we managed to finally arrive. Yep, and uh, and mount a very minimalistic setup. Because, as you can see today, there's fewer of us, but I hope there's still at least the same amount of you. Hopefully. We have no idea, really. But, yes, due okay. to uh, typical Eastern European problems. And that's why we waited that much. We hope they, they will arrive. Yes, but as we've been announced, there's a uh, stomach flu going around. Someone crashed their car in a ditch. And the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> Which might or might not be a crash as well. Yes. So, so Eastern uh, European problems. Yeah. These are day-to-day -day things here, but hopefully not day-to-day -day things on the stream. So tomorrow we're going to be back in uh, full formation, ignoring our personal lives to bring you the buttery, soft Chris entertainment Kier, voice and creeps here of sound quality. Oh, <laughs> Finally. Yes. So, um, welcome to yet another episode of our average reroll, where uh, we're just going to talk about us. Let's skip the whole bullshit. You're oh, here for us and we're here for us because we're egomaniacal. But we're we comedically do, evil. We do take questions. Yes, but we do take questions. We feel lonely, please ask them. <laughs> so, but uh, only if they're about, uh, about us. Of course. That's it. Of course. Let's uh, feed our egos, uh, starting with a small recap of what happened last time, in case you missed it. Uh, the first uh, amazing event that happened on our campaign last time was that we had the stream from a secret location, undisclosed to the public, but About very close to our area at Chinzishunu. <laughs> About four streets that way. But they don't know where that way is, what so is we're safe. Way? It's that way. But yeah. Due to um, we, we destroyed the place, but we made it back. At least this wall. Yes. Now we still have to build enough culture to get our book wall back, but we're gonna do that by tomorrow because we're efficient and shit. <laughs> How's the chat doing, by the way? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, great. It's Good. We can still hit them with ludicrous idiotic. We great. always do that. That's gonna wake them up. So we had the stream from uh, an emergency location. When uh, when we arrived, we had to bullshit our way into the building itself. No power. No power. No electricity, no internet, nothing. So, we uh, packed up shop and ran away. Four streets that way. And uh, in front, we, before the episode even started, encountered our... With uh, Eastern European mm, cameras. Uh, Eastern European security cameras, babushkas. <laughs> Lots of them. Like and of course, six. our answer was nothing if not honest. <laughs> yeah, we, we we're filming a documentary, <laughs> and it was a documentary on endangered species, ourselves mostly. <laughs> but we did manage to set up. So last time, there was still a pretty eventful episode. Yeah. I believe the most eventful up until now, right? Yeah, the, our first more. real fight. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, for some of us, our first real fight, because I they also had the encounter in the sewers uh, last time. As a party. Like, oh, yeah. As from that, the yes. fun table. <laughs> You're an asshole. <laughs> I'm an asshole. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay. We love each other in our spare time. What? Oh, well. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we did have our fir first full party fight, but that was, I mean, the culmination of the first episode. Up until then, though. There were a couple of other things that happened also. My head hurts, so this is gonna have to go for the, for the moment. I hate you. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll bring it back in like five minutes. Okay. Also like no. no. I'm, I'm glued to the left side of the couch. Okay. I, I think the couch, the couch is eating me, so. Yep. Oh, it's a mimic. Okay, mm, so yep. Sorry. But we're gonna laugh about it later. So, the couch uh, before it you even me. left uh, Rickham Bay, there were still a couple of events taking place, right? Yeah, making sure that party members are drunk. Making uh, sure, huh? Well, he made sure. Well, yeah, but even before that, I mean, uh, you had to go to the embassy. And which means y'all had to go to Hightown. Yeah. About that. About that. No more dick. 
<laughs> well, the thing is, I... Please, go ahead. I thought the ring meant something else. Mm, and... What? If I may. Well, she didn't think that the ring... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so beyond the, <laughs> beyond the metaphorical penis, what did the ring mean for you? <laughs> Well, Gloria saw the ring as a way to contact that boy mm -hmm. uh, because he asked her what can he do to make it up make it up for what she did mm -hmm. and she wanted to give him like a to, to lecture him about being irresponsible and stuff I know I know it's, <laughs> it's irony I know I meant to do that that's fine mm, irony aside why not do it then and there, when she first met him? Because Zesh took him and put him in the, uh, on the horse no, while we were talking. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but you could have told him to stop. I did. Uh, no, <laughs> I had no time. He just took it, put it, and slapped the horse. Like I had no time to tell him anything. Just the best. I man. was like Zesh, no, and he was already gone. Zesh, no, Zesh, no, Zesh, yes. <laughs> no, I, like <laughs> the moment I said no, he was already gone. <laughs> Well, you know, I, I shit happens, huh? Well, it was either that or she talking to the noble or I was talking to the noble. Well, I do believe you wanted to keep a, a bit out of sight. Not due to your own decision, uh, but due to necessity. What necessity? You know, it was necessary for two people to hold you back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well. That too. <laughs> which, which is interesting considering you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Wizzo the wizard. <laughs> I don't believe the chat knows about Wizzo the wizard, it's do fine. they? <laughs> I was trying, I, I was really trying not to be comedically evil. Well, yes. Okay. It's a reasonable thing. <laughs> right. Was there anything that happened uh, in between uh, you uh, traveling towards the embassy and you actually, you guys actually getting there? Well, uh, other than a bit of exposition and chatting with uh, with Frank and Gavron. With mustache and Gavron. Can I make yes, a really with mustache and sad. <laughs> Can I make her like a really bad pun? No one's stopping you. <laughs> Frank told me, frankly, what the royal guy wanted from me. <laughs> yeah, he did. Multiple times. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's what I think made Gloria think about what the ring actually meant. Oh, a pun. Well, no, Frank didn't joke. Because, yeah. uh, you know, Frank doesn't know what humor is. Well, Frank knows. And that's it. Please, tell me what humor Frank does know. <laughs> no, no, black humor? No. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean the little note. Because oh, that was also on the way. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, let's move on. You got, <laughs> you got kicked in the butt. <laughs> I'm gonna kick all of you in the presumption. Well, I mean... To be fair, spoilers for ahead of the episode, but uh, you're still in control of the ship, right? Yes, and I am crashing through another ship right now. Fuck you! And what's stopping me of going to, with the controls full down? I believe oh, well, it. Almost... I believe what's stopping you is a mechanic from um, from completely another game. It's called Chatteron. You buy it with five karma, and it's called common sense. <laughs> Chat's alive. Of. Chad is alive, hey! Hello for somewhere near and yet so far. What? Czar of Malta. Oh! Hey there, how's your car? <laughs> oh, why would you do that? Because oh, sorry, uh, how's your w wedding? Was he the one with the wedding? No! no. How's your car? <laughs> you know, crashed. And, and on sale. Well, if you want a crash car, you could search for his car. Yeah, it's white, it's hey, green, it's trash. Hey, Chad, if you wanna support support us on crashcars.com uh, you could get a unique memorabilia from one of us <laughs> is, it, is it how this works like the lizard four crashed his car so yeah. i don't think it was his fault though it was nature working against him yeah. <laughs> yes. but yes um victor is going to be joining us tomorrow telling us all about it so until then uh, it's good to have it with us in spirit, man. <laughs> He's already bitching about it, isn't he? Hey, just saying that it's on sale. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, see? What a reasonable fellow. Who dodged it? <laughs> dodged it. All right. So, yeah, you did find out about what you presume and what Frank definitely presumes uh, the ring means. Yeah, and when he told her, she actually, for like a second time or third time in her life, she thought about what it actually meant. Oh my god, she thought. <laughs> she thought. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. She's, right. She's like small steps, but there are steps. Well, baby steps are steps nonetheless, so that's good. Anything else happened? I don't. Uh, I don't think there was anything else before the embassy, right? No other stops, no other uh, distractions. There? Well, there, uh, Zesh did go yeah. by the church one final time yeah. to get a confirmation on his yeah. uh, biases and his he quest. He received a, a necklace. He did. He did, which he used uh, a bit later during the episode. So we're gonna yeah. talk about that a yeah. bit later. And also, um, is there anything else? Yeah. Well, Swifty visiting his mom one final time. Uh, Swifty learned how to pray. I mean, kind of. No, well, Swifty, Swifty just, just I mean, prayed. Uh, yeah, 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 the first I, time in his life. I mean. mm, no, 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 the really. first time that you know of, yes. that you people know of, yes. I mean, but he has a few years under his belt. Yeah. yeah but He's like what, in his mid-twenties, I believe. Something like in that. In character. Yeah. And with like the half-elf's life being roughly equivalent to a human. Wasn't he younger, like 18? Mm. That's well, what early, remember. early twenties, I think. He just he's about team. your age in character. Uh, he's, uh, he's younger. Than he's me. just a skater boy. He is younger than me. He said, "See you later, boy." <laughs> <laughs> but thinking about it, he's a skater boy. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I, got I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's high dex, so he could pull it off. Yeah. <laughs> he could do an only. Uh, he's a baddie. Yes. He has like. Fuck a me. Cloak, you know the, the Oh, he has the cloak. <laughs> 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 which, which presumably, uh, like, I mean, I do looks believe like a hoodie. No, no, no. Yeah. I do believe that he's the only person in this universe because I have not, and I will never describe anything like that, who wears a half cape. Yeah. So it's like a hoodie. It's yeah, a like video game memorabilia it's like from Assassin's Creed, Creed, which all of the skater boys yeah. presumably played. Yes. Oh, and God. It's, it's like trashy hoodie, you know, the... the Bruh. From the hood. Bruh. <laughs> and he said, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Before getting himself piss fuck drunk. So... And about, what, two sips of a drink? Yeah. My God. Like he, a skater boy. My God, he's California 5000. <laughs> yep. Now that we are assholes. <laughs> right. And well, we pick uh, on the guy without him being here and defend. We're sorry. We're not. I am. Okay. Good talk. You talk. He's not feeling well, so. Yeah, he's My at the wedding. Yeah, he's at the wedding. God no. No, he's shitting himself. <laughs> <laughs> so mean. I thought you'd be used to it by now. That's her only gimmick, really. Inhumane. Evil. Are we I'm the, the baddies? No. And okay. I'm the evil one. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, right. So let's skip ahead to the embassy. Yeah. And then you were walking, and you were walking, and you got to the embassy. Yes. Now, e well, you waited out front. I I think you talked to Frank a bit, right? Yeah, but it was. And tried funny. to learn a bit of worldly wisdom from him, mm. or something. Well, what was your goal? What, what were you trying to achieve? Friends? Yeah, kind of. Like, I saw that he doesn't really... Uh, I mean, he doesn't really like anyone. Like, he doesn't have someone close to him. That's what I saw. Like, the moment I saw that thing around his neck... Well, that scar is pretty important. Yeah, exactly. And when I saw it, I was like, there must... Th there is a story behind it. And it's something that I want to know. Dude. I I think Frast, Frank lost his ability to do it long ago. Oh, this is just foreshadowing. And do it. Yeah. And I I mean Gloria knew that he wouldn't just tell her the story just like that because she encountered encountered people like that before, and she knew that he would say it with like for a 
price, even though the price is her winning his trust. I mean, I don't see it as a price. I mean, it's a natural for progression. Her, for her, that's a price. Isn't it a bit callous, though, to consider it a price rather than actually wanting to get close to someone? No, it's Because like... you want to get close... To, do you want to get close to him just for the story? No. She considers that he's an interesting person and she want to have that kind of persons around her. Mm-hmm. And she do doesn't just want to get close to him for the story. She wants to get close to him to know him better. Like, I don't and know. And when to heal him. Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly that's the thing. Because <laughs> when she healed him... I mean, him, I think you were the first one who got a bit of hint about what Frank actually is. Yes, earlier in another episode. Yeah, but she doesn't know what that means. Fair enough. I mean, it would be pretty... Let's say, taxing on the mind to know. Or it would take years of research. Exactly. Or education in that part of uh, what magic years, is. Like, in, 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 at all. Mm -hmm. But she actually wanted to get closer to him, uh, to him, and there was the watchmaker. She has like so. Yeah, she, no, go ahead. <laughs> she the has veil like on you? some persons who she sees as um, not necessarily important, but interesting. Like they have stories. They I mean, a traveling bard would. Mm, yeah. So I'll give you that. Well, he is interesting. He does kill people for a living. No, he has a mustache. Okay. And also... The what he I does like is mustache. Not Frank. Oh, the... Yeah. No, when you're middle upper management, you don't kill people. You send people to kill people. Oh, okay. And also, for her, he was one of the kindest per uh, person in that city. I really believe that she, he ju she just didn't want to do something bad. Well... He, I mean, gave, uh, he gave her back her belongings. To be fair, that's a pretty big move for a gangster. Uh, I'll give her this one. Like, you know? It's a person who she just met and he like apologized for his people and gave her back her precious coin. I'm sorry because my people are mobsters. Here's yeah, your it's coin a back. Fair job. Like, that's I'm fair sorry job. for reality being the way it is. Yeah, exactly, kind of. But he was nice. <laughs> She, yeah. she thinks it, she thinks it but what about be. the second meeting I mean we never got to talk about that a bit more in detail um, what meaning? you got the veil lifted from from in front of your face and he did show you what he actually does the watchmaker I mean yes but she also knows about the work she also knows about people fighting she knows that well people fighting on the front lines that's something people uh, doing lawless things out in the open or well Not cloak and dagger that's a bit different mm, what was her feeling about that because by now it should have set in like this is not a good guy actually yeah she she saw that he was not good like um the actual meaning of good but she wanted to find out why he took this path. What made him do this? Why? How did he got there? How he? Maybe someone hurt him. Maybe mm -hmm. um, someone killed his family, and he's doing this for revenge. It it she hasn't said in the Gloria's mind just yet that some people may just be selfish, right? Uh, no, Money. no, no. Like so, she, she doesn't have this concept yet, does no. she? When she sees a person that looks sad or troubled or stuff like that she just thinks that person maybe needs a, another person to talk to to um get something off their chest to actually trust someone she wants to be that person that's so good that people would actually trust her like mm. not and and uh, how, how how do you value that versus the need for her to think about decisional consequences a bit more because her decisions almost put herself and maybe other party members in a tough spot well, how does how do you think about that how well, i think gloria changed a little bit from the first episode like i mean she would have yeah exactly <laughs> 
when uh, she saw Zesh trying to get the poison out of Swifty, she immediately went to him and told him that don't do that, stop it. She tried to. Um, but I, I don't think Zesh understood that just yet. Why? Well, that's a bit of head ahead in the episode, but yeah. I don't think Zesh uh, understood the necessity of the poison being there. Uh, okay, I don't think he still. I don't think he does as of yet. But a uh, really tall guy like Zesh mm -hmm. listened to her. For the first time, someone respected her enough to actually listen what she has to say, and he stopped. And My, I, I, I really hope for your sake this is not a too much of an ego boost. No, 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 no. It, it was like, oh my god, maybe, maybe it's not this like basic. Is it a sign of uh, of kinship, maybe? From God. <laughs> yeah, from God. No, it's it's like. Um, Y'all have Jesus now. <laughs> maybe I. She was always used to someone else taking care of her, and for the first time, she took care of someone else, and it felt nice. She At least that's a positive takeaway from that yeah. moment. Yeah, and it's not like a ego boost or, or or like, oh my God, now everybody want, uh, everybody has to listen to me because I'm I'm pretty smart and I have a lot of wisdom and stuff like that. No, I do believe that would be the attitude when she were would be drunk. <laughs> Most of the time. You know, a twenty year old would say that. When you'd be drunk, Gloria would Maybe. be different. Yeah. But and that's when we lock her up. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep her there. Zesh, go do your job. Oh, yeah. The flip side of the coin. Oh, Zesh, you do need to get the poison out of this one. Yes. <laughs> uh, please cleanse it. So... Intensively. <laughs> she saw how nice it is for someone to actually respect her. Mm -hmm. Because she got just shit from everybody around her no, the only thing that oh i don't think you should be pointing your hand just towards him <laughs> no he's the only one here i mean no he's not even from melody even from uh, the watch i, I just stated even... the fact that you are drunk i never like throw shit at you no no i just no. meant she should be mostly pointing her hand towards me because i play npcs mm. yeah but not only npcs told her that she's like no but there's more of me than there is of you people <laughs> i am people's I am people. <laughs> well, <laughs> go ahead. Um, seeing that everybody around her consider considers her like a liability, and no one wants her around or stuff like that, may that it clicks something, and she tries to be more careful, and she tries to be more helpful. That's good. Well, we did see uh, a bit of that in combat. Uh, we did, and um, chat live again. Yeah. Hey, what up? Yeah. What, what up? Yeah. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I think. I Was think that a request that you just fulfilled? Yeah. I think it, you already can see some changes in Gloria. Well, uh, some. I can trace some because I'm behind the screen and I'm figuring out the larger context of this, of course. Even, like, but how about the other fellow player on, on this podcast? Let's get your word in on this. As a caster, she did try to find a dagger and stab a guy. What? Say that again real slow, please. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> beyond that, because you were driving the ship at that moment and, and it was, uh, it was well, a bit I, too I was intense. trying to take a watch on everyone so that anyone would not fall off the <coughs> ship, but it was too late. Uh, the other way. Ship went like this. First like this. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> then like that, then like that, then like... You should really get proficiency on, on vehicles. I'm trying, man, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Defenestration. That happened too, but, um, you know, we skipped quite a bit ahead. Um, well, in my opinion on that, it's so ups and downs. Well, it is so an emotional much ups and downs that the medium is a bit below. But is it is it getting okay? Better. That's good. She's not drunk every day, so it's a star. She was only I th drunk the only day that I saw you. <laughs> and I think she got replaced as the drunk of the party. Yeah, now it's 50. But right. it's understandable. 
No, it's not. You know what? Mm, because I mean, of from my because of my situation, of I'll remain neutral on this. Please yeah. go ahead. From my situation, from my point of view, it's not. Why is that? If you're afraid of something, you're not in a boat. You're in a what should you call it? Airship. Yeah, yeah, we did a, call it airship. He's not afraid of the boat itself. He's afraid he of water, the pants. ocean. Yeah, he did. Wait, wait till I finish saying something. He's not afraid of the boat. He's well, of no, no, the he he did voice that he's no. afraid of the ocean, but I think what what we're referring to is would you treat your fear? Ocean. Yeah, would you treat your fear so intensely if you're not actually being exposed to it? Like, sure, you can see the ocean below, but maybe because he was like a step close to death. I mean, I can't talk for him because he's not here. Well, none of us but can, but we can presume, him, which is beautiful. It. That's how I can see it. Like got a near death experience oh. maybe that like, now actually... to be fair towards um swifty none of you know why exactly i do and i'm not at liberty to disclose well, you know he just crashed once or something like that. <laughs> or something but i think it's the like... details of that or something are he did state that, that he died but that's you know that's that's you know i'll i'll let his opinion be his because it's pretty important for his character, and we wouldn't want to denaturate that. Well, I, I actually don't know, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll, so you're gonna I'll, presume I'll... what Murthog would presume, of course. I would presume that he and same for you that and he would die like every person that's afraid that I died. Mm -hmm. It's either delusions or just a phobia taken to the extreme. Mm -hmm. But I see no reason in him acting like that in character. Yeah, fair enough. But we got ahead of ourselves again. <laughs> Because uh, I was gonna ask a bit about the embassy. And about how it was to be a touch closer to home, maybe. And getting felt some context bad, on your mission. Felt bad or felt awesome. But you also did receive quite the number of uh, bad opinions. Well, that's expected. That's from where I left. <laughs> that's why I took them openly. Mm -hmm. I didn't contest them. I only stipulated my wish yeah mm, what about your um, let's say I wouldn't call it quite relationship but your 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 kinship towards Gavin versus towards Talon well, with towards Talon, those two with Talon I didn't have that much interactions he is a human that got up weirdly quickly and by what I overhear he hates m like my party in this mission so it's kind of natural to have a kinship towards Garver. Mm -hmm. Even though he acted like an asshole and in my mind, him screaming tactical ops, it's not really okay and stealthy. Well, uh, during the first episode, didn't quite scream it, but... Um, well, I, 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 I don't really care what happened in my mind. Oh, no, no. no I, I, I should, because w this is open, I should explain myself. My throat was already hurting by that point, and that may be why it seemed like that, but he did not scream. Um, it's kind of a bit of a post-patch, and I'm sorry for that, but my intention was not for it to be a scream. My intention was it for it to be directed towards you intensely and telling you alone. Still, but, yeah, I, I, I see where you're coming from on this. But still, he did that. Another murder list, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for everyone, their own. Yes. Yeah. But, I mean, changing a bit the dynamic between you and, and Gavin was, um, I felt that. And well, you, I, you did push towards that as well. I did. When you found out a bit more context. Yeah, I did push towards that and I, I'm pushing constantly towards that. Because I would need friends and I would need contacts and I would need information. Mm -hmm. but and he feels a little bit lonely, so a bit of company wouldn't. No, Zara's not enough on those nights. <laughs> Gavin, <Gathering> though. <them. laughs> What a hunk of average human. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. Sorry for Frank, though. Well, we don't know what happens to Frank. I have my hopes and I'm Oh, no, I meant about the note. About the note. Sorry for Frank, though. <laughs> ah. Frank is another one on the death list. You know, it's constantly growing. I don't think Frank on that list, for spoilers, mm, is a bit redundant. <laughs> And if you look bad at him, it's just on the spell list. If you do something, <laughs> it's on the death list. You know, it, it just escalates. 
So the spell can go from press to digitation to hold person, so mm. to fireball. Yeah, mini 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 mo. Yes. yes. Nah, it, a feeble mind. Of course. Mm, really? If I'd be playing a, a, a high level version, I mean, getting to high level, I just stealthily feeble mind everyone around. Yeah, you're just gonna go. You're stupid. Oh no no no! I mean, I'd multi class into like two levels of sorcery. Of sorcery. <laughs> Uh, three levels of sorcery for that silent spell meta magic. Well, you, you know what the problem is? I never saw a big level wizard. The player wants it you know, yeah, in yeah. an old campaign, but yeah, wizard survivability is an issue. You either got killed by your own fireballs or you, or you got killed by your teammates hating your own fireballs because it hits them. So, one out of the two. <laughs> yeah. That's why well. you're gonna always be inspired. <laughs> Well, Fireball isn't really an inspiration spell, <laughs> it's just an AoE. <laughs> Don't you have to roll for No. It? Uh, no, you have to roll for it, you know, dodging. So I think everyone but him is gonna be inspired. Oh, yeah. It's and, quite and you know, because he's such an ace at spell casting at the academy and he totally didn't fail his exams. Well, I mean, those were theoretical exams, let's of not. Course, <laughs> of course, The answer of every to everything is Fireball. I'm curious though if Marathog will uh, pick up Fireball, honestly. Me too. Because uh, I've been having this discussion with uh, I've got a number of players. Uh, a lot of them disconsider Lightning Bolt for some reason. And I find them almost equally cool. Well, they're equally cool, but they're not equally thematic. Yeah, <laughs> no, I they're think not. The, the fire, it's like. I got wizard and fire and stuff like that. Yes, but with what? lightning bolt you can be Naruto, Sasuke, and uh, what's the other gray-haired one at the same fucking time. And right now you just stated why nobody takes <laughs> lightning bolt. It's okay. With fireball you can be Sasuke. No, you can't. You can be, you know, a wizard. Gandalf had light spells. Exactly, he was the best wizard. He knew what his party needed. <laughs> oh well. And it was not fireballs. You know, I'm I'm gonna take every level into like divination and be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the, what was that one? A sentry, which sentry. generated the arcane eye that you could yes. at a distance. Yes. That's always underused. I only saw it in use in play like three times in okay, my decade of D and D. Uh, and it can only be observed by true sight. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so it's so useful. Anyway, right. Uh, I veered off the. It's my turn to veer off. So that's that for the embassy, right? And some added context some and added context for the people outside. A people. bit of downtime, finally. Yeah. Me spying on them after the whole thing ended. Hey, hey, hey! Um, that's uh, Ocean's Eleven type shit. Is always cool in D and D. Of course, of course. Well, Murfag wouldn't let down a thing, and he would try to like, find as much as he can about mm, Curiosity, as I saw it, was one of Murthog's driving forces up until now, if not the best driving force he's had. Yeah. I wonder when it's gonna get you in deep shit. I wonder. In time. <laughs> oh, that's when. In time. Yes. Just, it's you know. It's interesting, because I get in shit like, every single episode, and he's like, in time. <laughs> you know. Well, there's a difference between getting drunk and just getting to the highly dangerous place of town where people get shanked, but doing okay. I mean, if we're to see it like that, you did good, he almost died. She almost died. Yeah. That's because of Zesh. <laughs> well, still. <laughs> and her life decisions. Yeah. Oh, wait, actually, if we're to even this out? Yeah. Well, I, I didn't almost die, I wasn't hit once. <laughs> No, but I mean, thematically... Thematically, yeah, we were attacked. Yeah. But we talked about that last time, so... Yeah. Right, the airship. And okay. that's when we can talk about Swifty's drunkness properly. How'd that make y'all feel? Not the drunkness itself, but the repercussions. Well, there, were, there really wasn't that much of a repercussion. He got drunk, he passed the day, and that was it. I do remember one repercussion. Zesh. No, the other one. He barfed on Frank's shoe. I think I found your overarching plot. <laughs> and the nemesis. Yeah, but um, he found me where I was cleaning. Yeah, but he did also find Zesh there and Swifty on the floor and got the whole context. That's some 
don't what think do we have I while we are putting Vila now. Know. Yep. It is the finger of Zef. That, that's something that I actually want to ask you. What? What's, what's uh, Frank's um, attitude what? about, uh, uh, about uh, Zesh? Frankly. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, frankly. frankly. Okay. The last thing Frank did see before passing out completely was Zesh ripping an enemy's face off. So, you know, in Frank's true nature as a combatant, as a fighter, as a soldier, pretty fucking cool. Total fucking maniac, but he's on our side. Yep. Yeah, that, that's good. <laughs> it's about as much as I'd, uh, as I'd disclose, but... And I also I mean, wanted to ask you something. Sure. Oh, shit. I did not realize I was not the only one who can ask questions on this show. <laughs> Fuck. I, Are you fine? I no! Go. You didn't know, uh, like, I'm <laughs> character, I didn't understand why was Swifty... Uh, why... Owed a favor uh, to the watchmaker for giving well, me my well, stuff back. Well, that's uh, like background and mafia. It is. Working. It is background. But yeah, but me, why I for giving my me my stuff back? He wasn't responsible for it. You know, this is where you don't know the whole picture. Yep. And, and no, nobody other than Swifty who hasn't disclosed it yet knows the whole oh, picture. But so for him, so I didn't for miss something. I thought I'm, I mm, you I you something. didn't you didn't miss you were never supposed to know and you didn't find out. Okay. Just so yet. I, I wanted the out of character to ask this. Like I mean I, I can't. Don't know I, I, know. I don't know. But I can't tell no, it. No, out of no, character no, no, no. we don't know. That's the thing. I thought maybe I missed something. No, and that, you, you and didn't. Everybody knows. No, 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 no. Me. Nobody That's does. Well, nobody does. We do know. Okay. I mean, of course some, we know. Some some yeah. some of you figured something out. Uh, that's clear. But. I, I thought maybe I... I never gave anyone any okay. extra information. It's okay, then. It's okay. Now, you know. Yes, we know. It's background. It is the creep people. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's the creeps. <laughs> I thought maybe I missed something. The dwarf that. creeps and the elf bloods? Yes. I have an idea. It is that idea. I love it. What's Chad doing? Nothing. Nothing. Really? Yeah. Completely nothing. Finally, get some time to relax. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, you got on the airship. You finally took off. There was a bit of time before you got. Um, I talked a bit with Gavin. You did, and you did a bit with Frank. So, who wants to go first? All right. Well, I already I think about that's what I yeah, but friend. at the embassy, but on the ship, I think there was a bit more context when you found him in the um in the kitchen area. Yeah. Of the ship. Well, that's part of Gloria trying to make him trust her, like trying to earn his respect somehow. She knows it's gonna be really hard. Like, she knows that, but uh, she really wants to, to befriend him because he seems like a lonely person and she wants to be there for him. She wants him to know that she's trustworthy enough. But I, 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 I do wonder, mm, why do you consider Frank such a lonely person if before meeting you, you know, you, you all know the information that being part of a team, part of a crew, having friends on this ship before you people ever arrived. And there's also Gavron there, who did state that he was his best friend. Yeah. Because he always seems tired, she doesn't know the reason why, he always seems drinking. You know, that's like the, uh, the creepy guy in the tavern having yeah. a quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he always seems drinking. Ah, drink. I never described his uh, question mark enough. Of course. Yep. <laughs> being all not I mean mean but not mean mean like uh, having sharp answers and um, uh, oh you'll get used to it <laughs> the you'll get general used to it. idea he seems like a person that doesn't really have close friends or trust a lot of people and he seems the kind of person who wouldn't talk about his feelings 
of course, like better. Like a man. Like a man. She <laughs> thinks. <laughs> when when she says. <laughs> Two thousand nineteen. Oh my god. What? Yeah. <laughs> when Go she ahead. when she sees him, she's like, uh, maybe he doesn't realize he even has feelings. Maybe he even forgot that he has feelings. I love how much Gloria presumes. <laughs> I love it. I yeah. Because the like the veil continues to be ripped from before her face, no. but there's more veil all the time, man. Yeah. <laughs> she's new to this. My god. Imagine when she'll meet the tiefling again. Oh god, damn. For the atrocities of war. Well, yeah, she's gonna get a mouthful of that, like, next episode, probably. But how things are going? Most probably. You know, it's either a mouthful of the horrors of war or a mouthful of water. Well, depends on my driving skill. <laughs> no, on your landing skill. Oh um, god. Okay, we're... I'm gonna keep this for the fight. No, good. Well... We're about to get there, but um, there were a couple more moments before the fight, even between you and Malady, right? Yeah. By the way, talking to the mic, it went. Like, turn it upwards if you want. You know, just... No, 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 no. Break something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't do that to okay. your ears. I don't care. Uh, just give us a moment. Now I know. Technical difficulties. Now I know. No. It's better. Okay. So we have problems and also solution. Mostly problems. Mm, not so much solutions. <laughs> well. <laughs> that that was so glorious from Thank sideways. You. Oh my god. Thank you. They didn't see it, but they did hear oh it. God damn it. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Um. The. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. You can. The thing is, <laughs> yes. I. <can't. laughs> Hi, am I supposed to talk about serious stuff when this is happening? You are so. That's it. Is it distracted? Yeah. No, no. That's it. You are so. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry for being so. Um, <sighs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, she is kind of confused when she looks at melody like she, sometimes she's really mean sometimes she's weirdly oddly nice <laughs> and she's just confused I, I always wanted to ask what if i if Morta does saw the the black heart well mm, the black heart is i mean the heart of darkness feature yeah you mean? well i i see it as her being able to ah, just nice being able to shift you know mm -hmm. mask her personality and and her behavior that's what she's done up until now because because uh, i don't see the the heart of darkness feature um, okay. no no no, no not as a spell no don't get me wrong as a like brisk change well, you did play it like that yeah you well, did play it like no, that. i wanted to ask just so not not to presume well you did presume correctly and played like that already, okay. so you know. And, and also, what I, I remember something about Frank. Think, I think most people, by the way, to finish off that one. Okay. Uh, I think most people <laughs> have started to RP seeing the heart of darkness fully manifest because it was awfully quick. Yeah. I mean, the change was a flip coin, so. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. I I remembered something about Frank. Yeah, sure. She now she kind of got a boost when he invited the, her to join the 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 mission the party yeah <laughs> the like the mission the, the yeah because the whole he was like hey you well you you want to join and she was like am i worthy like she saw it as like oh my god he, i i didn't have to ask for some for, for this he just invited me, and that's amazing. Whoa, maybe he you know, trusts me. Thinking of it right now, I just yes. I just realized. So sure, there were several people who were not, you know, 
standoffish with you and, and were nice to you, but the only person who was actually really vocally nice all the time to Gloria, right, Malady, and who helped her out, gave her clothing and everything, that one you find weird. No, 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 <laughs> I don't find her weird. No, the behavior, I mean. It's, she's just confused. Like, sometimes she's so nice. She, she gave her her clothes. Uh, she uh, speak so nicely with her. Then she was like, I just gave you the clothes. Why were you like that to me? Like, she was really mean. And then she... Uh. You know, it's strange, Gloria, finding another suddenly mean woman um, weird. I we're mean, about she's not mean. She's made out of happiness and friendship. I always presumed it was just menstruation. <laughs> no, but it was like, oh come on. He needs to turn on Babushka angry when bleed. Oh come on! <laughs> it was so fucking bad. Thank you. Uh-huh. I get about two of those <laughs> per stream, so. uh... Uh-huh. <laughs> that's the little right I give myself for for putting up with you people. Oh okay. Oh, all right, then. I guess it's fair. It's what keeps our viewership numbers from climbing too Much. steeply. Yeah. So she I guard the gate to fame. It's not like she right. doesn't like Gloria. Mm. She wants to be friends with her, but she's thinking of a way to talk to her. Well, you know, just talk to her. No, it's not. For Gloria, it's not <laughs> that easy. Of course it is. You just talk to her for three minutes and boom, she's naked in your room. Yeah, if you're a man and she needs something from you. Well, I don't know that. Boom, she's naked in my room. You don't. Well, actually, Marathon doesn't I, I, know. I, I, I presume that something's fishy, but I did try to offer my support. And Martha actually... Martha, had... Martha was, was a gentleman about yeah. that, because he only stared. Yes. <laughs> 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 I'm still deciding if that's her f- his first woman or not. We'll roll for it. Yeah, <laughs> roll for Next it. time we'll Next roll for we'll it. Roll for it. <laughs> what are you like a uh, hundred and twenty or something? Two hundred. Two hundred. Mm. <laughs> yeah, like uh, would be funny. Yeah. But it would I, be so I don't. Funny, like being all of them drunk and maybe playing like a. Um, a game or something like that. Yeah, like to be honest, I, 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 I would dread fantasy never have I ever. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no, I like would that. I would be afraid of it with any character I play. <laughs> oh, come on. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, we should do that once. You know what? Let's do that in the, in the early Sunday game because I want to knock my barbarian out in like three seconds. It's like, never have I ever... Are these letters forming words? <laughs> Done. Oh, like, we should play it in a, in a downtime on the main campaign? Well, I, uh, I, I, I did think, and, and I thi- yeah. I'm i thinking of incorporating more uh, downtime activities for you people. When do you do get downtime? We got bits. We got one bit. And we got more bits. One didn't bit. Didn't we got more? Thank we got you. One bit. Thank you didn't for we one bit. bit. We got one bit. Thank you oh, for sorry. one I bit. More bits, but they are hot, so I like four <laughs> Well, thank you thanks for again. Hearts. Yeah. And for the bit. Right. Oh, who, who is it? Tinian. Oh. <laughs> Still number one, bruh. Still yeah. number one. You're up there. Not really. No, you know me to look at? I think. <laughs> he doesn't have the badge of number one. Is it a silvery badge? No, it's no badge. Whoa. Now it's Now it's number two. He, he, he gave us bits again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I love them fighting. Oh my god. It's so oh, wait, productive, what? isn't it? It's Thank so productive. You. It's the only productive fight I've ever seen, by the way. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, right, so... um. I do think those are hard bits. I'm not sure. I you know what? We'll find out during the break. Mm-hmm. And that's if okay. If they are bits, thank you. If not, thank you. They are hard. I like hard. So... 7 out of 10, but okay! <laughs> no, I actually like hearts. When I was like sm- uh, small in middle school or something, even on my test, I would draw a little heart somewhere in the corner. Well, we ruined that for the drinking episode where we I'm talked sorry. about you as people and why why we we roleplay and how, how, damaged, how damaged we are as individuals. Because I want to do that when we're famous, like everyone else does it. <laughs> Shit! 
that was just one fact uh, about after me. After we're famous and nobody can, nothing can like you know destroy Touches. destroy our image, we're gonna destroy it ourselves. Exactly. <laughs> it's okay. We've got a running head start on that. Like, one, like, like <laughs> the classical. Yeah. Hey, I'm damaged. <laughs> Pay attention to us. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyhow, getting yeah. back to the Yeah, subject. getting back to it, right. So, that was a bit of context, uh, at least between you and Malady, but <laughs> there was another thing oh happening. Oh my god, what, look at them. What, can I see it? I love it. Please, They're please, fighting. show me, show me. It's, it's They're bad. fighting for who? They are! <laughs> <laughs> well, I what? want I wanna see it. Come on. See, I think the next that's punch. That's, see, um, I actually think that's... <laughs> 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 Away from the mic. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I I actually think that's something around on, oh, uh, uh, going around on our stream, like people fighting for whose dick is bigger you, than. You, you know what? No, no, don't say that. Sorry. Have I said something wrong? It's okay. It's too late now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Have but I but but getting back to it, I would want to stay before uh, before getting back to the questions. It's fine. It was just a joke. Um, you know what? I I realized what they're doing in the chat right now. War! <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna talk more about war if we ever talk about uh, Warhammer again. By the way, <laughs> that's gonna be something. It's gotta be something. So uh, right. Get it back to it. Uh, before by the way, uh, before the before analyzing the fight because this time we can do an actual fight an, uh, analysis. Well, yeah, but we have a bit more to the fight. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. one more um, thematic moment, important moment yeah. uh, before the fight because you people mostly did go to sleep, but you wanted to talk to Gavin and you did talk a bit more with Gavin and found out something really extra, and right? And I did share something. With you did, extra. you did share something yourself, and that's uh, right. I want to talk about that and uh, maybe take a little break before analyzing the fight because this one is worthy of, of an actual analysis of, of of more of more talking right because it was way more than you people encountered the yeah. up until that point but before that and before the break um, of course we're gonna be shameless zone but first Let's talk about your discussion with Gavin and how that went. Seven out of ten, but okay. <laughs> right, but I mean the the information he disclosed to you versus the one you disclosed to him. Well, to be honest, I wanted to talk to him mostly to prove a point. Mm, which was? Maybe I didn't pick up on it. No, which which was the classical point that. Not useless. I can know all the things. Like, please be frank with me. Frank was in another room, man. What are you talking please about? Be... <laughs> I was frank with Frank afterwards. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were. No, I, I mainly wanted. And, and I think you were the, the like second one in the party to get a chuckle out of Frank, which was precious. Yeah, but I did want to to. State to Gavrin mm. that, look, I know that you can't disclose right now stuff. Mm. I do know a bit of them, so let's make a trade. Well, I, I think he did react far better than you expected, right? He did, he did. Be because, no, Frank, uh, I mean, Gavrin, never did state. Uh, oh, God, yes. They're, they're still going. Yeah, I love them. It's fine. You're still fighting. Just, just stay on the subject. It's fine. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, we can't do this because we'll get copyright mm, stricken. But if you want to keep this thematic, just play the like Mortal Kombat original theme from from the 89 game. Or, you know, Bluegrass Banjo. Nah, that's when they're both winning. Yeah. yeah. That's when they're... No, I mean, you know. Like Unite against the plebeians on third, and just go. <laughs> Still. <laughs> anyway, right. Uh, it was it was far more validation than you thought you'd get, right? It was, and I hope that it will stay like that. Well, prove your usefulness. Prove that you're competent. And well, that's it's only fair to presume. That's why I'm, I was trying to do prove that I 
can find out stuff and that I can keep secrets and I do have information that might interest you. Mm -hmm. And I do hope that I make that point clear. Well, you did and it was. Mm, I mean, based on that, you did find out the the finer detail that he disclosed to you. Yeah. About the, the shards. No, about the uh, war, about no, what's there, no, no. about everything. How did, how would, I mean, Murthog is, after all, you know, being a wizard and being, being at least, uh, being uh, an educated fellow. Mm, what was uh, Murthog's first reaction to hearing that uh, the brass takes so, so much stock into, into folklore? Uh, to be honest, uh, I saw Gavrin being, dismissing it. Yeah, but I mean, the decision I... did come from higher up. Yeah, th that's what I'm getting mm -hmm. at. I see Gavrin dismissing it. I do believe that was either his disbelief, his genuine disbelief, uh, or I'm about 40% that <laughs> he just wanted to cover it. Well, we can't find out about that just yet. I can't. So. But I think Morfag, seeing that High Brass consumes resources for it, starting to be somehow plausible mm -hmm. not 100% but plausible I mean, they might be there they might actually be true but they are still a legend mm -hmm. so but then yeah that notwithstanding though does bring me to the last thing he told you about your brother right that not nah, the, the hard, hard hitting news yeah, the well, hard hitting news Somewhat at least. Somewhat at least, yes. They did want to send my brother so it can be assassinated or at least die. Mm. Uh, that was. <coughs> well, that's only Gavrin's presumption. This still, Gavrin's presumption is they. The whole thing that I know, and I'm taking you to the grain of salt. That's why I didn't overreact. Mm -hmm. But I also with the grain of maybe something's gonna happen to him in the capital. I don't. I mean, I do not hate my brother, mm -hmm. but I would climb over. You would. Okay, well, right, that's what I'm trying. Right now, yeah. But um, how's that ranking against you know the fact that he's your younger brother? Well, pretty bad. That's why I'm not, you know, overreacting. <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. it's Bitch. seven out of a letter, but uh. <laughs> I might get killed now, but someone wants to kill him. So but he's my brother, but he's better, but he's younger, but you know, like that. And Murthog's heart grew three times that night, probably due to coronary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> for an aneurysm. But Murthog's brain did pop five times that <laughs> night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, how's chat doing, by the way? Cause, uh, still fighting. Still fighting? Okay. Still fighting. Well, um. They're talking about rap and mean stuff. Really? Uh, completely amongst themselves. Uh, let me, well, let, let them, me see. Let, let me them see. fight, it's fine. Yeah, no, 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 I'm just, I'm just curious, because they're as much with us as they as we're with them. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> it's pretty much good. Awesome. You know what? <laughs> I, I really hope they're also listening to us. Well, of course they are. They have no choice about it. Oh well. Well, they could mute us. Yeah. And just look at our well, pretty faces. Well, before we hit the break and hit the sponsored messages, I really want to voice my honest opinion about this because, really, who would mute the amazing, buttery, textured quality <laughs> of the sound? Otherwise known as um, <laughs> us buying expensive microphones. Thank you. <laughs> we know, we know, all of them love your voice. We know. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm nasal and pitchy and shit. I'm not, not talking about myself. You're pitchy. Well, he has pitch fuzz. So. <gasps> <laughs> God damn it. But, but. After I successfully didn't scream into the mic for once. We could finish the topic. Yeah. Sorry. 
because uh, there was one uh, intermediate conclusion about that, right? Mutual trust, at least for now. Well, that's what he's trying to get. Mutual trust, mutual disclosing of the information, to know that he can count on something and something someone can mm -hmm. count on him. That's what he's trying to do with Melody, that's what he's trying to do with Gavrin, that's what he's trying to do even with Frank. More or less with 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 almost the whole group and I think almost moving forward with moving the moving forward with but some of them more than the others. Well that's also you know, hinges on, on his opinion. He is and the other people's. Because, yeah. sure, mm, Marathog did gain the trust of a number of people. But there is still some in the group who, who see your attitude as a noble first and then your skill set or maybe your usefulness or your incentives and so on. Right? Well, <coughs> I mean, we can talk from... Sure, Before sure. Go ahead, go ahead. It's not his attitude like towards himself, like I'm a noble. What she minds is, is his attitude towards our people. She saw mm. him hitting an old man. She doesn't approve with you and... You still hanging on to that? Yeah. I mean, it's been a day. Exactly. Well, as, as I said, then yeah. some of them fire. are more worthy than the others. Mm. Some then of them are more useful than the others. Throwing, mm. throwing fire at random people and uh, horses. Biggest anime betrayals 2019. Stay Was tuned to find out. <laughs> anime fights. Yeah. It's not about him being noble and... <laughs> but? It's about exactly. disregarding the common folk that you're so fond of? Yeah. It's, it's, it's so funny. And, and not being mean only uh, like while talking, but, but also taking mean actions towards them. Again, hitting, throwing fire, uh, and stuff like that. Well... You know what? After the break, we'll delve into a bit how, uh, you know, an, that, that's why an hour and a half like of him. combat changed you people as people. No, nothing really changed, come on. No. Angles changed. Yeah, angles changed, but this kind of it. I mean, us as people didn't really change. Because you didn't have a second to spare. Well, we do. Like, we did, like, take a look at one, at one another. Nothing changed my opinion uh, for yeah. anyone. I think anyone... Or maybe Zash changed a bit. Yeah, you now he obviously tasted, fear him. He tasted the like flesh of humans and maybe not human. And also uh, uh, hobgoblin. hobgoblin. And also how should I let it for after the break? Because well, if it's related the to the fight, yeah. yeah. Then we're yeah, gonna please do. Because yeah. there's a couple of moments there who really, really might might spawn reoccurring goblin villains for you. But as as to do you imagine to talk close out? that yeah sub, please please sub, go, sub ahead, subject, go ahead uh, he did he does try to make friends that he sees as useful and that he sees as proper let's say human beings mm -hmm. for from a noble point of view right from from his background yeah from and my, from his biases yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I think and that's where uh, you you two are like almost diametrically opposed in yeah. in, in belief systems and I think that closing like, off this myself. It's gonna be interesting to see to see the dynamic between between the, yeah. the polar opposites of the party moving uh, forward. That's the, like his reason of finding people that can count on him. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the reason he didn't agree of using melody uh, the first time. Mm, in what context? Um, in, sorry, in, uh, in me. presenting her to the brass right away without her oh. having an opinion and taking the lead somehow. Well, yeah, but you know. That honestly hinges so much uh, to, on onto her as much as it does on to the decision of Gavern and. Uh, well, I know, I know, but and, I, did, uh, I, did, I did try to like it's her choice if you she did. wants it. Mm -hmm. I know we can use it, but let's not be neither rash or let's say bad people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because she has noble background. Mm. Through my eyes and Gavrin's eyes. She was raised from the noble blood. Yeah. yeah. But then again, the rest of the party don't know that and don't know that you, you know, you took the high road on this one. I did. So maybe that, that might change their dynamic to you. And I'm curious how that's going to go moving forward, to be I honest. No, I know, I do. Well, 
Mm, I think that that kind of closes the subject, right? The other thing is like me trying oh, to it? befriend a bit of Deborah, of, yeah. uh, of Frank. Well, as much as anyone can. I I, I also like levers. Haha. Haha. Wow, isn't the sky? <laughs> I just gonna stay in your back and meditate. Mm. To which, of course, his answer was the perfect Bruce Willis. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but he did show me a bit more on the controls, on the on all that stuff. Yeah. Again, necessity being the the mother of invention well, here. I'm gonna ride the shit way. <laughs> you are currently within the episode. Yes. You know, blocked in time, crashing through another ship. Yep. Now, for the viewers back at home, there's a really nice orchestral version of AHA's Take On Me on YouTube. <laughs> to be honest. To be honest. It's kind of how I see it. Of right course. Right now. Right now, it's, it's that playing all yeah, over no the place. Yeah. <laughs> Like stereo. Stereo from the ship. Through the ship. <laughs> With the ship. By the ship. Off the ship. By the way, as Eagle. long as... Ship. <laughs> as long as we're shipping things. <laughs> you know... <clears throat> we we, really we like could ship. We could ship our viewers back at home a couple of advantages. Like, you know... Our Discord server. Uh, uh, that could be an advantage. Or the fact that... You know, in case you're not watching this live, time traveler, you you're probably on YouTube. You can Hello? See us. Yeah, you can see us on YouTube from tomorrow morning. Uh, plus minus. Let's say tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or even the day after tomorrow. Depends on our marvelous internet. Hello. Yeah. Still, we're going to upload everything on YouTube if you miss As us, usual. As usual. But if you do want more advantages. No. You could find us on uh, Facebook and Instagram, but if you want even more advantages than us being your friends, you could see <laughs> our, our our screen uh, where we yeah. monitor the stream is yeah. is like fucking dying it's hard. Good. Let's ignore so, it. Yeah, Keep so moving. So something like that wouldn't happen. And talk yeah. with us more. You you could find us on our Discord. Maybe we'll play you can. Some together yes you can join our discord to our patreon it's the one dollar pledge and you're gonna receive the link one dollar yeah. wasn't it the three dollar whatever the one dollar yeah, pledge whatever. and you're gonna receive the link mm -hmm. other than that you can also receive custom items from us uh, dm tips we do if the pledge is high enough we'll create an npc with you that is gonna play in our campaign and influence the story or have its own story. Oh my god, I yeah. really hope whoever donates that is reasonable. Please send me a friend. Please. A revenant. It's a friend. A dead Forever. Friend. Yeah, it's a dead friend, but a friend. But it's a, a is a it a DFF? It's a DFF, yeah, <laughs> it's a DFF. <laughs> <laughs> right. So with that shameless advertising that will pick back up right when we're back. What how's the war effort going? They stopped. For now. Well Lolish Maron won. Again? Ah. Again, well, what what oh, the no, fuck? No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. They're I, still I, going? I understand something else. Yeah. They're still going? No, no, no. They did stop for hey, now. Hey man, doctor, what the fuck? Come on, you should You fight. said you well, said you you will show us your rah. Show us your rah. Now we are we are shameless enough. Yeah. We're gonna re return. <laughs> We're gonna return in after about the break. Fifteen we, minutes. We need to vent the room as always. Yep. It, yeah. Yep. So if you think of any other reasons that we haven't thought of that we need, uh, you know, help, do share. Like do consider. AC. But uh, by the way, during the break, uh, if you're so kind. You can leave your questions in the suggestion box or mm, in the chat below because we talk about uh, ourselves a lot, but we also want to talk with you and about you, I guess. Sure. So we'll be right back. And now this is going to be really awkward. We're going to be right back in about 10 minutes. It's going to yeah. be a short while. We're going to implement the countdown, I think, from tomorrow. Yep. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to do it for today. Oh yeah. Yeah. Nice. Broke it even more. 
Nothing's broken. It's just it's alternative. Fixable. It's alternative. Let's yep. Mending. And welcome back. <laughs> so, before the break, we said we'd talk about the fight. So I guess now we have to. How's chat doing, by the way? Empty room. Silent. Oh. No questions? No. Nope. Only war. <laughs> right. Or more biddings. Well, war is an economy, so go ahead. <laughs> so, um, we're gonna talk about the fight, which started... They are fine. We're, we're glad to hear it. <laughs> um, so... Assholes. Yeah. Irredeemably so, but... Um, we were gonna talk about the fight. So, it started a bit unexpectedly. And sure, maybe out of the game, you people might have seen it coming. And something was bound to happen as. It started as the wind started flowing that beautiful morning in the middle of the skies above the ocean blue. And there's me who thought that the fight will be when we come back. <laughs> right. Because, like, saying that the goblins go around there, I mean, maybe not tonight, but when we get back, certainly. Well, as a Would general you? rule, if an NPC tells you that there are goblins ahead, there are goblins ahead. Not behind. No. The goblins are never behind, it's about their survival. Of course. So, it's you people being suddenly awoken by uh, harpoons, right? We're seeing the hole. Yep. Well, luckily only the upper deck for now, which is... Well, does it matter? For the buoyancy of this possible sea ship, not a airship. possible sea ship, it's an airship. It'll never land. Yes. Or sea. Yes. Mm. Or just air. Yes. <laughs> and ship. <Hopefully>. And ship. <laughs> right. So, it's you people rushing out on the deck against, what was it? Five plus their captain, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, there was also Frank manning the the vessel for a short while. My God, I I, I never thought I could uh, I could be surprised by my uh, by my own streak of nat twenties. Because <laughs> when the combat started, right, I had there just was two of them one after the other in a row. Yeah, so the first one was uh, Swifty, who got. I think the first one was Gloria, though. Gloria? Because one was Gloria? the no, no, no. Captain Yell get the bitch. Get the bitch, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you bardically inspired. Yeah. Through that unexpected choice of song. <laughs> At least <laughs> Which unexpected. One of them? Well, Are, the first one I didn't I didn't expect, but then oh. uh, you know. <laughs> all, all of them that should have been thematic. Well they were. They were. For her. For her. <laughs> no adventure. High school musical. High school yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no. Anyway. Uh, the, the thing is, what I wanted to explain mm -hmm. was that um, Gloria saw that her magic is stronger when she sings. Mm -hmm. And when she saw that um, the situation was kind of bad, like really bad. Oh, no, 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 no. This is quite bad itself. Nope. Anyway, please continue. And Sorry, I forgot to mute my phone. She learned Go ahead. that during her high school days which were like what three years ago <laughs> yes mm -hmm. and she learned the high school musical song yep makes sense of makes course. sense yeah the day lands are nothing if not disney northern california <laughs> so when she saw that things are kind of bad mm -hmm. she started singing because it was also a coping mechanism for her in stressed situations it helps her Think, mm -hmm. but also uh, to um, manifest her powers that she doesn't really know much about, but to make them like stronger. Mm -hmm. Who'd you inspire again? Uh, I can't remember. Um, him. Um, yeah. At first, did she inspire you? Yeah, he mm -hmm. was the first person. Mm -hmm. Then Zesh. Well, that's for different combat rounds. We'll get there. So the first round. Right, there was the first biting inspiration, then immediately like two nat 20s, right? Yep. Yep. And mm, Swifty almost went down, and then Frank did go down. Uh, Frank did go down a bit later. Not a lot though. 
No, one or two combat rounds. I think during, during the third. The At uh, the top of the third combat round, Frank bit the dust. Some because, dust. Because healing. No, 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 no. Yes, no. Yes, yes, yes. He was already in your arms. Mm-mm. No? No. Mm-mm. She oh. healed him. Uh-huh. Then I rushed up. Right, right. Sorry about that. But until then, you people did try some tactical positioning, right? Well, as much as sitting far away from them and... No, 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 I mean, I mean, uh, Zesh and Swifty got, uh, had quite the thing going, right? When they flanked uh, some yeah. of the goblins. And Zesh employed uh, his uh, soon-to-be trademark move. Yeah, For biting, the first time. biting first faces off. Yeah, but the first one, he did want to do it as a grapple move. And spitting him on the Successfully other. stacking goblins. Yep. <laughs> that, was, that was actually quite cool, to be honest. It I did awesome. not expect that to happen. And then, that was, uh, so that was the fir- uh, first combat round. Yep. Uh, uh, what was it? You, you, you threw a cantrip? In the first combat round? Yeah, I don't remember. No, oh, before you, combat. Uh, before combat, you threw sleep at one of the goblins. Uh, Fall. Fat. Yeah, yeah, coming down the, the vine. Yep. Right. And he um he got a mouthful of ship. Yep. And mm. the knife from Swifty. Yep. Well, yeah, the Swifty did go for him surprisingly because he was already dead. Well, he didn't know that. No. Yeah. Yeah, he was drunk. No. Hungover. 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 Yeah, yeah, he did at least act like it. <laughs> but yeah. Then, uh, what was it? Did the Malady do anything in the first combat round? Yeah, uh, I don't remember. She fireballed she tried. the rope and she missed. Oh, right. Yeah, forgot about that. Right. Hmm. About that. Mm. Well, what? Uh, this is what I wanted to say earlier. Uh, she saw Melody missing both of her spells. Both of them? Mm-hmm. Was it both of them? No, it was a fireball. Then the second turn, I think she missed again, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I I'm f- sure she missed because I was careful about that. Okay, and she always saw her like mysterious and maybe, maybe like powerful and that like a strong personality. She expected her to be like something really. Well, I mean, I don't think people can can um, can quite ascertain each other's capabilities just yet, you know. No, but I saw him in battle. Mm-hmm. She kind of resembles him. My God, she's such a racist. <laughs> now go All ahead. All mages look alike. And All elves are mages. And when Gloria saw Melody mm-hmm. missing both of her spells, she thinks she thought about grabbing a knife while being a caster and going for the shank. No, I d- never went for the shank. No, I haven't. I only asked for it. Okay. Uh, that's where I'll disagree. Because if you ask for the shank, aren't you gonna use it? Well, the thing, the thing is. I uh, would have used it only if someone came up to me. That happened. No, no one got closer to me. You did get raked. You did get knifed. Uh, no, raked with the with the goblin. Yep. That's how you went down in the fourth, yep. I believe. Yeah, but it was before I could do something. I only asked for it because I, uh, Gloria doesn't have a weapon on herself. She doesn't have but then again, the intention weapon. is there. That's what we mean. The intention's the there. The intention was that. That that's how I thought it. Because actually, I put some thought behind it. Uh, she didn't have any weapon on her, so she, the first thing she tried to hide and uh, assist the people around her. But she thought maybe someone will get will get close to me, and I cannot defend myself with the spells I have. No, why not? Because she can't. I I don't know what Gloria exactly. has in her arsenal, and I'm asking. Exactly, she knows she can't this. She can't do anything. Hmm. So it, if she can't do anything with her spells, and someone gets close to her, she needs to have something to de- to defend herself with. So the caster did go for the knife. Yes. Only in like the. the I I didn't go like to. Uh, rushed into the battle with it and tried to stab no, someone. No one said rush. It was just like keeping her, uh, keep, uh, may barely keeping it in her hand. But it was there. That's just what we said. 
Right. That was from Swifty, right? Yeah. I mean, he's our only source of knives, yeah. if I'm he correct. He's made out of knives. Yeah, he just peeled back the skin, it's kitchen. Yep. <laughs> just silvery. And, you know, two skateboard trucks? Of course, of course. Yeah, he's the skater boy. Yep. The knives are all made out of, you know, Fallen brands uh, and other non-sponsored material. Yep. <laughs> right. And um, they I think elemental. I think I think <laughs> they're elemental yes. knives. <laughs> yes. Uh, Gavin didn't show up until the third combat round, right? Well, Gavin was inside the cabin, screaming and for dear life while she battled. Mm, well, not screaming just yet. Just yet. It was only when the ship started tilting that Gavin screamed. For some reason, I I can't I, quite I put my tongue on it. I mean, it was a tactical. Sure it was. <laughs> right. So um, let's go ahead to uh, the round number two. The goblins were getting closer, and that's when uh, Swifty almost went down. Yes, I threw a chromatic orb at the captain. Yeah. Yeah. It hit. Yeah, it did. It, it was your first big wall upon him. Yeah, it was a uh, 16 damage. It's pretty good. Yep. Was it the first damage one? I think it was. Mm, yeah, mine was the second. When did you damage the captain? When I told him that things were gonna be okay. And what was that? Uh, the cement was first. Oh, that only half damaged him. Yeah, but I was the one who said he only damaged him. Hmm. Right. And then I think Zesh got his first kill and Swifty got his first actual kill, right? I mean, in a row. That was quite impressive. And then it happened. And then she healed the Frank. Yep. Yeah. And Frank went down. Yes. That's why I wanted to it's a combat a bit the fact that you're gonna see people missing them and they're useless. What do you mean? Oh, with you. Because people do miss and people do not judge correctly. As did Gloria, as did the others. And we do not know our combat expertises. Yeah. It's pretty yeah, that's... normal. What? Did so, so, um... That's, uh... That's a point of contempt, right? Because, um... Yeah, you do now judge Malady on the fact that he, she missed two spells. But... Gloria also made a wrong decision. The, 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 we all missed. We all yeah. You yeah, you all fucked calls. up. We all I fucked meant, up. I mean, like the vision of herself changed, not in a bad way. Mm, but earlier you did describe it kind of like a no, bad no, no, no. thing. Please, I, I please, please go ahead. Missed. Go ahead. Elaborate on that. She saw that she missed, so she saw her more. Vulnerable, like maybe, maybe, maybe she's, maybe she's gonna, but really in the, in the, in the thick of combat, like in six seconds to twelve seconds, like two combat rounds. Would the thought have had time to form? That's what I'm debating. That's what I'm not sure. That's where I think it's a bit too early to judge on anyone's behalf. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, would would the thought have time to form? That's what I mean. Because almost like soon after that, within two combat rounds, you were down yourself. Now I'm curious, how much of that will be relevant? I really want to say this. What? Hello, level eight landlord. What? <laughs> what? A new guy. Oh. He's a level 8 landlord trying to become a level 99 boss. Of course. Oh. What? Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, continue. It's fine. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> right. So that, that's what I mean. Because it seems like a wrong priority in the thick of combat to to start making you know judgment calls about allies and 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 focusing about the worldview you have on companions. When y y all of you are about to bite it hard, you know, mm, this this kind of counts for everyone, not only everyone here, but everyone, because I think everyone started making presumptions at that point. 
to and be it's honest, a, it's I, very I, early. I did roll for myself if I would catch what happened, and my own roll was okay. Mm. So I ascertained that I would see that, and I would presume what I presume. You would start, but the I thought, presume, like the first idea that comes to mind was like poison undead. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that was Frank, but I'm talking about everything that happened up until up then. Up until Frank, it was 12 and, seconds. And also for me, for Gloria, like that's how she sees it. Killing him, then him falling. Mm, why would be her mistake if she killed him? Because the, I mean, the healing clearly didn't work. Yeah, but she like him falling wasn't her fault. Yeah, she she like. Um, to be honest, I would debate my spells, not my capabilities in that situation. What do you mean? If I was a cleric and gonna heal a guy, the guy falls dead. I would debate my spells at first. Maybe my god has left me or something like that. Yeah, but I, I have no god. No, but you have your powers. Yeah, yeah and in, I know that heals. But did it? That, that's the thing. I don't see it as... Um, um, he fall. He fell because of me. I see it. My my spells. My spell wasn't strong enough, and I couldn't help him. But I, I I did take that moment to quite describe in vivid detail how his wounds, that were previously scars, started opening up, yeah, immediately when you heal him. Does she know what undead means? And that is. Well, no, by the fact doesn't. that I mean, That's she wouldn't know specifically types of undead and stuff like that. But she, I mean. Wouldn't know that healing him would hurt him, right? That's where I think it's debatable. Maybe mm, because no, based not. on every other um, part of lore, Gloria seemed to s to know up at that point. Based on the year or years of travel, based on the fact that she grew up around adventurers, you know, would I would. I would have presumed, based on how Gloria acted up until that point, that she would know about at least basic undead. Because that's what well, the roleplay suggested. I'm, to be honest, zombies are pretty common knowledge. They are. They are. Most undead are pretty common knowledge. I mean... Yeah, they are scary. Don't get they me wrong. They are scary. They are. They are. But especially for someone who grew up around a lot of adventurers, I would have seen that as a possibility. Well, the thing is out of character, how I thought it. Because... That's how I put it in my mind. Um, I had two op options, and considering that battle is not over, and I can't like put a finger on something, I had this two in my mind that I wanted actually to discuss. Either she thought that her spell wasn't strong enough to actually help him, or she made the connection between her healing him and the scar he had around his neck. And she would figure out what to use. But I actually wanted to ask you if that would be okay if she would. Well, now that you mentioned, out. now that you mentioned that you think Gloria didn't know about undead, no, I think not. I, I'm I, not sure. I did would not she know? figure it. Like trying to do have an idea, well, mostly because of my background, and I took the liberty of having that thought. That, if that's it was what wrong, it ask. was wrong. Like, well, I mean, does she know about undead and well, that if, healing them would actually if, hurt them? If now, you know, thinking about it... Um, I had no... Like, in if, character, I had no time to react. So it's okay if... I mean... Well, judging by the fact that you, you now... You're convinced that Gloria doesn't know that much about undead. I'm not convinced, I'm know. asking. Well, would she know? Well, I'd you say said you didn't know, so yeah. no. I yeah, I'd say in, I, indeed, I really don't indeed. Know. Like, I'd say well, I'm based on that, I'd say no. Yeah, you're right. I'd I'd say no. I'd say that you apparently were not aware. Because either of uh, uh, of of his undead and undead status, and of uh, of what healing spells do to undeads in certain settings. Well, the, so the no. My, my, um, how. I know that maybe some things I think that I think them wrong because I'm a relative new player and I don't really know what like it's not no 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 this, this, this is not it's related not to the meta. No, what what I what I wanted to say um I didn't know that zombies were like common knowledge. I actually didn't know that. Well, it, I didn't it depends know on that the setting. She could have 
known about undead. Fair enough. There we go. I didn't so, know. Uh, like, out dead of lives matter, okay? Yeah, dead lives matter. <laughs> dead lives matter. Nice. <laughs> right. <laughs> People are fighting again. No, they're not. Oh, well. Well, uh, let's I give them something to fight over. So, yeah, maybe that was like a, a bad well. decision because of myself. You know because what? Like let's see it constructively. Better. It's even. Uh, it's a further point for Gloria to gain wisdom upon. There we go. And Got it. So Fix so it. So poetically. <laughs> uh, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Right. So yeah, there are some things that I don't really know about the world because I mm. don't know them. And that's maybe... Uh, I think that's a good point for Gloria to start uh, asking about these things when she right comes now. back well, in the next episode. We have a question though. Oh my god, finally, yes! <laughs> Is he at least still undead and not that dead? <laughs> Well, we you know what? This is the perfect time for the final shameless because up until now we've advertised this episode every other platform. But usually, if you really want to find out, tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. GM3 plus 2 be first time. And find out if Frank unlives. Or undies. <laughs> 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 but yeah, um. That's a point of great contempt uh, up until now. Where we left off, Frank was just frothing at the mouth. That's about it. Mm, you did describe me as opening her eyes and starting to mm, panicking around. <gasps> her eyes, milady. His eyes. Well, the mustache covers boobs, right? <laughs> oh, well. Covers everything, man. Yeah. Covers the tragic background, the dead family, the kids, the wife. Of course, they're all here. Uh, uh, Gavrin's inappropriate working relationship. With yeah, him. The, the the dirty poetry, the harassment yep. charges. Yep. What? Anyway, so. Um, well, what I wanted to say. <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead. Um, <laughs> what I've no what I've noticed noticed. Uh, but I mean, uh, you did notice, you know, Frank's um, grimmer visage, and you did feel the tinge in the weave. Yeah, that's what I wanted actually to talk. Would I mm, put the points together? Because I saw his car before. He did some things. I don't know what spells he did, but he mm, uh, he actually, frightened me. That was not a spell, by the way. That was not what? a spell. That was not a spell. Not even the second time. Well, when no, I failed the know if it's a spell. Well, you know what? I just got the cat out of the bag right now. As a DM, that was not a spell. Not even the second time when I like fell to the shields and nope. stuff. No, that was just his smile. Oh, no, no, no. The, the thing is, you know what that was? Uh, An intimidation. Gloria didn't thought that was a spell. <laughs> well, he just told you she twice. She didn't perceive it as no. a spell. I meant mm. out of character. Well, he did mm. told, told you twice that it was not a spell. Oh, what did I step on? Oh, the juice. That's okay. Juice. Right. It's okay. Well, um, make that juices. clear. Gloria doesn't think it. It's a spell. Mm, that was a bit un... Mm, I don't know, that was a bit presumptuous because uh, both times it did describe a tinge in the weave. Yeah, you did. With you, with Malady, with Marthog. Yeah. I did it a number of times. So... That was one of the reasons I took that action. <laughs> that was surprisingly a correct presumption. Indeed. Yeah, I'm amazed myself, to be honest. But we're gonna find out if Frank unlives next episode. So, yeah. I, I wanted to say this, mm. um, like, I don't really know uh, so much about the world and not only uh, in the in this campaign, like, mm -hmm. meant, I mean the D&D &D world itself. And I, I've, noti I've noticed this, like, playing multiple characters lately. Mm -hmm. um, there are some mistakes in my role playing and stuff like that. It's not, it's, I don't see them as mistakes in RP, it's decisions. Yeah. How informed or not they are, yes, I mean... This is not what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, no, I mean, sure, we can, uh, no, we can address wanted, this. No, I wanted to say it related to Gloria. That, that's well, what I wanted Gloria to say. can be a learning vessel, that's how yeah, I see yeah. it. Mm, but, you know, that could also factor in if... Because that was the last cliffhanger. Not Frank. But Gloria, because you went down. Yeah. He, he went up. No, I no, went down the stairs. She, she fell up the she stairs. She fell up the stairs, right. As you took control of the ship. And hugged Frank dearly. 
Of course, of course. That was the actual while half chubbing a potion down his throat, yes. Po potion. Potion. Right. A vial. A, a vial vial. vial. <laughs> 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 anyway, but yeah, so w when we left off, you were falling up down the stairs. But the problem sideways. is, the problem is, yeah, about the sideways. Swifty was not in such a good spot himself, was he? Yeah. I mean, he was still... Uh, uh, Swifty and... He was still alive. Swifty and Melody or, or and Zash, like... Had they're still they're still up and yeah, running. They hit the, the they, they, captain cabin yeah, wall. Yeah, they, they hit the cabin wall, but then the ship took an unexpected left turn, such as our tonight's events. <laughs> because... And you rammed through the, the goblins. goblins. Yeah. Yar, har har, fiddly yeah. d. True pirate. They Aurori, were the pirates. Or only easily offended, and uh, you know. Of course, of course. We didn't mean that. <laughs> but um, I think oh, I mean, the, they the, they boarded us. They deserve it. And and you didn't comply. You deserve it as well. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, you created your first minor reoccurring villain. Three goblins in a tall coat. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming fuck you at the top of their little lungs. Or I think there are three minor reoccurring villain villains. No, it's one. Okay. Goblins are hive mind focused on survival, efficiency, and ruthlessness. Sure. And the overcoat is the hive mind protector. No, it's like 11 AC. <laughs> it's like 25. Fine, it's like 30 because it's maximally studded armor. Oh, of course. <laughs> right. And combined, uh, they have like 15 decks. No, 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 no. Combined, they stack their ACs. Oh, okay. So, yes, it is like 25 AC. Whoa. Was there some more questions? No. Oh, okay. I was almost getting hyped, man. <laughs> Give him more questions. So, how are you? <laughs> but no one asks, why am I? <laughs> But where are you? I'm trapped, please help me. They're keeping me prisoner and I've been DMing for three months, non-stop. At the bad touch! <laughs> okay, now, well then, chat, before I receive the bad touch... Well, he do have a question, oh but God. About it's not story related, okay. so Thursday. Uh, but what's the question? I'm, I'm curious. I know actually. it's Thursday. Just the it's not story rate right this Thursday. But I want to hear it. I'm not going to answer it. Okay. I'm going to be a total fucking dick about it. Okay, can we be dicks about your question? Too late. I'm not Cats out of the bag. Go. Be. Come on. We're going to awkwardly wait, by the way. Yeah, we'll get back to something in the meantime. No, we can't. No, we're, we're we going to awkwardly we wait. We should talk with them as well, so... He's not doing it, is he? Nope. Well then, we gave you the chance, so that kind of ended the episode, right? And I left you people at a high sideways, left about a 37 degree by 27 north point in the story that we're gonna continue tomorrow uh, on stream. While the sheep yes. crashed to another sheep, I held Frank, the oh, three of is. our party members oh my God, he, the he said yes. and Gloria slowly falling off the ship. Up the stairs for now. Well, sure, the railing is getting closer, but your saving throws, I think, were two to one, right? No, one to one. One to one? Yeah. Well, wow. one one oh boy. Well, his question is if there are any methods for the DMs to keep their players on the storyline. Hmm. Thursday. Thursday. Yep. Thursday. Yep. Thursday. We're going to answer it on Thursday when uh, we talk to you and with you and about, about you the, and about us. us. No, just about <laughs> us. <laughs> right. Today but yeah, so let's uh, let's round this up, right? If the players are trying to investigate anything but the story path. Kill them to death with the might of the clickety clacks. There you go. It works. You died the death to death. It still works. Well, with rocks, fall players die. I think we can end this episode off right here with the mentions that you can follow us on YouTube, 
when this episode goes uh, up um, tomorrow, tomorrow or morning, the next day. Something. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, where we post some other stuff. Or our favorite on uh, on on Twitter, where we auto share things from the other ones. We do. Yeah, it's been it's been auto sharing stuff. We love. Make Twitter it. is not a thing in Romania. Fuck them. Yeah. Exist on Twitter. We passively exist on Twitter. Yes. Huh. We've think. passively been existing for almost a year. Tweet at us and we might see it. Yeah, in our email notifications. Whatever, man. <laughs> but uh, so. That and you can follow us, uh, you know, today, tomorrow, or Thursday when we have our separate shows. But tomorrow is the main campaign, so we're gonna wait for you there. Yes. We can't wait. Uh, you should be there because I might die, and let's see. If yeah, I that's the only reason, really. <laughs> that's the only and reason. And Frank. No, no, when you die at our table, we kill you in real life. This is Inception. <gasps> Matrix, actually. <laughs> And with that, we wish you a good night! Bye guys! And the Patreon subscribe!